Don't lose control of yourself. You might be giving them exactly what they want. What? Earlier, she said fighting us was the good part. If their goal really is wiping out Heiyue, that's a pretty weird thing to say, ain't it? <clears throat> <sighs> Me and my big mouth. Let's get everyone on the same page. First off, we have to talk about a bit of history. A fairy tale, if you will. W what? <sighs> it's a tragic legend passed down in Longport's eastern quarter. In times of great turmoil, a mythic being will appear. Sometimes it takes only a few decades, and others as long as a century. The being of unparalleled strength and charisma always subjugates the Eastern people, including Heiyue. He is a warrior, a liberator, and a dictator. And most of all, a demon. Stricken with fear, the people all began to refer to him as... The Tyrant. <gasps> I recognize that name. The old woman at the church mentioned it. <sighs> Some part of this city's history that the elders want kept quiet, huh? The last one had to have appeared a long time ago, right? Indeed. It's been about 40 years since the last Tyrant appeared. They say compared to his predecessors, this one was a cut above. He took control of that era's Heiyue and Yin, and used them to rule Longport following the chaos of the Orbal Revolution. Under him, Easterners gained a greater foothold in the Republic. In some ways, he reminds me of our boss. However, his rule did not last. The Tyrant's rule was predicated on reason as much as it was fear. His strict rational decision-making did improve the lives of his subjects, but it also ignored the distress of those adversely affected. Over time, the accumulated distress evolved into a full-blown panic, yet Calvert's government did not intervene. So the elders of Heiyue chose to rebel. To defeat the demon they so revered, they enlisted the help of Yin and outsiders. Pride be damned. After a bloody battle, they managed to seal the tyrant away. He drew his last breaths in solitude here at Heilong Chun Jai. Th that all really happened? So that whole story about sealing up the mines was just to keep people out, huh? No way. But that would mean... Aaron? Get a grip, man. It appears our intel was accurate. Aaron Wei, you are the new tyrant. It can't be. Don't mess with me! I was born and raised in Longport by my mom. She may have died and left me an orphan, but I've lived a great life here. I won't let you make that all out as the work of some old wives' tale. <laughs> Come on now. Tell me that you didn't feel it the moment you set foot in here. <laughs> this facility, its floors and walls, even this throne. None of it feels familiar. <clears throat> Why? No, that isn't me. He's broken out into a sweat. Are you okay? So that's been your game all along. Correct. All that's left is the last push. The third Genesis! Sorry, kids. This is for him. <clears throat> that object was sealed here along with the previous tyrant. At long last, it has returned to its master's grasp. Oh, shit. Aaron! Throw it away! Now! His memories are coming back. Uh, Aaron? That name no longer suffices. Before you stands a greater being, the demon known only as the Tyrant. He 
is even better than I was hoping for. The first phase is now complete. Next, he will destroy Longport in the eastern quarter of his own accord. No way! So that's what this is all about. It's time for Heiyue and the Tyrant to duke it out just like they did 40 years ago. But this time he has that Genesis thing with him, meaning he can turn his kills into undead servants. Heiyue may be powerful, but they'll never withstand that. The Guild, Police, and Navy will surely join the fray as well. Making use of the confusion, we will have a chance to slip in and eliminate Heiyue's elders. That's horrible. <sighs> Nothing's too low for these guys. <sighs> Whoa! Someone's raring to go. I see. Despite transforming, he's retained his resentment toward us. Some small part of his previous self remains within him. Perfect. His two souls fighting for control will make him even stronger. This town will truly become the dazzling city once it goes up in flames. This is your last chance to leave. Hurry and scamper away, and maybe you'll live to fight another day. So, what'll it be? I will stand and fight! I'm worried about the Genesis, but right now, Eren's more important. Had a feeling that's what you'd say. On yes, go contact Elaine and Heiyue. Me and Fairy will buy you time. No, you don't! Kid's got some moves. Ah, do you like getting beat up or something? <sighs> like hell, I do this for fun. Even need to ask? Let's do this, Mare Bear! All right, Dylan. Uh, what did you just call me? Please wait, Mare. Let me fight alongside him. Are you really interrupting me? I need to do my bit first. Shards well. The Frendel's all yours. Just like in Cray! I can feel myself resonating with Fan through the Genesis. Activating shards. I rule this land. I am all! Target locked! You're trapped! Meet 
your maker. That was lousy. <laughs> it's our turn now. You must obey me.
Looks like we... got him. Thank you, Van. Everything should be okay now, right? Yeah, we just need to... Looks like that thing haunting him isn't gonna give up so easy. Oh no. But we already used our strongest weapon! Sometimes it feels like the world's fading away around me. I'll see my bros or Ashen, hell, even the city lights, and my vision just kinda hazes over. It makes me sick. Screw all of that! I've got to protect this place! I've got to prove to myself that I belong here! That all my doubts are bullshit! Mom loved this town so much, and so did my friends. So please, help me kick those bastards out of our town and make things right! Aaron Way! Listen up! Van? Back up! He can't hear you anymore! If you're still in there somewhere, open your damn eyes! I... I am... the tyrant... ruler of Longport. It's working? Aaron must have heard his words. You ain't some tyrant! You're Aaron Way! Longport's prodigy! The Little Conqueror! The Eastern Quarter's favorite troublemaker! Where do you get off being a cocky runt all the damn time? And then just forgetting everything! I must fight. Must guide. Must rule. That is... my everything. My... destiny. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Don't give me that destiny garbage! It's your life! Don't let some old-ass demon tell you how to live it! What happened to the guy who loves Longport with all his heart? You told me you were gonna keep it safe. Safe for everyone who loves it like you do! Did you forget? You're just gonna let some monster waltz in and trash it?! <sighs> Aaron! There are so many people who care about you! You mustn't forget that! Not only Ashen, Hal, Jack, and the members of Heiyue, it's everyone living in the Eastern Quarter. They're all waiting for you to come back home! It's not really my place to speak for them, but I know your friends would be calling you back too! So please, don't give up! Letting destiny and that bastard sweep you along is the easy way out! You're just running away. What happened to proving that you belong here? I guess you just don't have what it takes. Do ya? the haze that's been hanging over me. How dare you obstruct our destiny. Heiyue, Ying, 
third time. I can feel your pain. How bad it felt to give your all for Longport, just to get stabbed in the back. But that doesn't mean I'm about to let you destroy the place I call home. So let's settle this, one on one. You will be the next tyrant. Accept your destiny and rule this land! Deploying shards! The reckoning is upon you! Blink and you'll miss him! Soar for me! It's over. Leave me! It's go time! Send you flat! It's go time! Sorry for that! You'll be sorry for that! Nice work, kid. Teach that thing who's running the show. Oh, thank goodness. I could sense two souls within him. You must have defeated the demon. <coughs> Aaron! Are you alright? Yeah. I think so. What happened to the tyrant? Got his ass beat. Now he can go back to being a brat. But, a brat that managed to save this town. <laughs> I did, huh? <sighs> it's finally over. Without the tyrant's help, Almada doesn't stand a chance of beating Heiyue. And they should be pulling out of the city soon. You all fought admirably. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, he must have brought reinforcements. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, we only just arrived. I had to be sure we had a sufficient force in the event that you might fail. However, I see my fears were unfounded. Rest assured, you will be suitably compensated for what you have done this day. Now then. A boat is waiting down below to return you to the city. Allow us to handle the remaining business here. As for you, Aaron, come with me. Your wounds are deep and we have much to discuss. <laughs> and for a second there, I was happy to see you too. Fine, fine. Let's get this over with. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Yeah, 
I'm glad they get to talk like this. Hold up. Is <laughs> something the matter, Spriggan? If it concerns your compensation, my son will handle that matter in my stead. Good to know, but actually it's something else. Say, you were in cahoots with Almada, weren't you? What? Huh? Wait, then... <sighs> I have no doubt that you truly are enemies deep down. Had a battle broken out, I'm sure you would have gone all out on him. That said, I think you guys ended up finding something you agree on. Something that only you and the other elders would know about. You mean... No way. You've gotta be shitting me. I'm reminded of a certain phrase you used. Let external woes reveal internal wounds. Obvious one is the external woe being Almada. But that makes the internal wound the tyrant here. <laughs> I've got plenty of circumstantial evidence for my theory. First, there's the story of how a certain device got into the hands of a street merchant, and eventually, Almada. Shortly after someone gave it to the merchant, it happened to be stolen by a bunch of thugs. Timing's awfully convenient, ain't it? And don't forget, only Heiyue knew that device was sealed away here. Why not just hand it over directly? Plausible deniability. They can pass the whole affair off as a mistake if they get caught. <sighs> Second, there's those Almada guys knowing way too much about the tyrant and what went down here. Only the old folks around here even know it happened, but if you ask them about it, they clam up real quick. So how did a bunch of young outsiders hear about a local taboo? Must have had a source. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. Third, there's the old man's attitude toward Aaron here. Sounds like you all used to get along real well. His mom included. Don't know what it is about the kid, but people really take a shine to him. Especially old folks like you. So why'd you suddenly turn cold on him? There's gotta be a reason. He's full of it, right? All three of his assertions are correct. Despite Tao's recommendation, I did not expect you to be quite this perceptive, Spriggan. Why would you do that? You were so kind to us! Mom loved you like family. What changed? When did you start seeing me so differently? The signs began to appear in recent years. The last tyrant was a charismatic young man, just like you. With each passing year, you came to resemble him more and more. I had no choice but to discover the truth, no matter the cost. Hold on. Did you know my friends in the town were going to be in danger this whole time? Answer me! We did not intend for a tragedy to take place, but we understood the risks well. I deeply regret that innocent people lost their lives. They... They died for this. Such was the will of Hei Yue. If you dislike the system that reached this conclusion, then use your right to change it. What? Chaos and trials unknown lie ahead. That much is certain. But if you are there to guide us, Heiyue will undoubtedly overcome them all. We need you to be the great, unfeeling tyrant. So you're just looking for someone to take the burden of leadership away. That someone's not even the man himself. Correct. That is what is best for Hei Yue. The Shang Shou! Have they been here this whole time? <sighs> Take him away. Enough! Uh huh? Who's that? Yin, if you're here, that means... Please stop this, father. I see you've disobeyed my orders and returned early, Cao. This is purely by coincidence, I assure you. 
Negotiations went so smoothly, I was afforded the chance to come lend you my aid. Yeah, yeah! Please stop! Hasn't Aaron suffered enough? Ashen. Oh, Elaine! You're all right! <laughs> yes, and I'm glad to see you all in one piece. Melchior got away, but thankfully Maxim and his companions are safe now. Gotcha. I think I have a rough understanding of the situation here. I have no intention of meddling in Heiyue's internal affairs. However, I must see to the safety of this civilian. The Guild will not stand idly by and allow you to detain this young man. <sighs> I see. With Beauty's Blade and Yin on your side, I dare say our advantage has dissolved. I believe we're still on even footing. So Mon crafted a worthy successor after all. Perhaps you will even surpass him given time. You flatter me. She's become stronger in the last year and a half. Father, I was aware of the tyrant's situation. But I'm shocked that the elders stooped to working with our enemies. The Council may be our leadership, but surely this was a step too far. That attitude is exactly why you are not informed. You still lack what it takes to serve as an elder of Hei Yue. I can't say I disagree, but that's why I've learned to rely on others to cover my shortcomings. Evidently so. The charisma we sought ended up being our undoing, I suppose. Gien. Very well. The older generation shall yield on this matter. I must face the Council and answer for the lives lost due to my actions. <laughs> but be warned, young ones. Our foe's offensive has only just begun. All that hard work, and elders live to be old another day. Sure, we accomplished our real goal here, but I have a feeling the boss won't be too happy. A failure is a failure. The boss may respond as he sees fit. Hey, Melchior! Don't think I've forgotten this is all your fault for screwing up in Cray! <laughs> it is what it is. Though I did stumble on an ideal venue in the process. In the meantime, we must focus. The next battle is fast approaching. Ugh, don't remind me. I don't like having to work with those two. Be nice to your teammates, children. Even if they are a little cuckoo. It's rich for you of all people to be calling someone crazy. If either of them fought at full strength, they could dispatch an entire army single-handedly. Well, they'll have a chance to whip out those toys of theirs before too long. Perhaps we'll even run into that Spriggan again. It's almost like fate. After Mesodon Trading Company pulled out of Longport, everything started getting back to normal. Well, on the surface, anyway. The conflict between Heiyue and Almada is probably only going to intensify from here on. Especially since Yin's back. Why didn't anybody tell me that Yin is a woman? Wait, you don't think she and Tao are secretly... you know? Eh, doubt it. I hear she's got her eyes set on a guy in Crossbell. So she's an acquaintance of yours, then? I got the impression Elaine knows her, too. I'm not surprised about Van, since he seems to know everybody. But I wouldn't think an assassin and an A-rank bracer would get along. Yin and I bumped into each other on a job two years back. 
As for Elaine, dunno. Guess they must have teamed up at some point. Shame I couldn't just sit back while they handled everything this time. Is there anybody you don't know? Huh. <laughs> you talk tough. But we all know. Sal included. And you can't help but get involved. Can it already? <sighs> Though, I can't say I enjoy feeling like he had us dancing in the palm of his hand. I suspect this whole thing was probably just a changing of the guard over at Hayway, so to speak. Fawn went to mourn the dead and visit their families. Even sent the bodies of the thugs back home. Well, those with enough of a body left to send. Saul made him pretty popular around here. No doubt thanks to Sao's schemes. He's already done so much over in Crossfell and Erebonia, and now he's masterminded all this too. People are starting to talk about him being a future elder. Gah, that freaking guy. I know. Isn't he dreamy? Oh, right. Did you make it back in time for school on yes? <laughs> Not quite. How many times did I warn you about missing the night train? <laughs> you sound like you're her dad or something. Not like it would have been easy to leave anyway. Between the guild, police, and navy, it was a real mess. Van ended up giving us a ride back in the early hours of the morning. So, at least I was still able to attend my afternoon classes. If I were you, I'd have called it a wash and taken the rest of the day off. That's our model student for you. Are you glad you got to see things through to the end? Yes, though I don't feel like I was able to contribute that much. Even so, I'm glad that I was there to provide what help I could. <laughs> Are you a lucky boss or what? Can't imagine Elaine's all that pleased about it, though. Don't remind me. Already got an earful about it last night. It's clear from your story that there's more going on here than you're letting on. And while we managed to avoid the worst-case scenario, people lost their lives here. Considering that, it's becoming increasingly difficult to ignore your participation in all of this, Agnes. It doesn't have to be right this moment, but please consider having the Guild take over this case of yours, okay? So, you given her suggestion any thought? I think Elaine would do her best to solve my case. I can trust her. However, I've seen firsthand that some problems can only be solved by issuing conventions. I think there's still more to learn this way. So, I stand by my initial decision. If you say so. <laughs> Keep at it. What she said, you've got this! Will do. Hmm. Now the only problem left is Aaron. He's more into older women, so I don't think he'll cause too much grief. But he's still a bad influence. You think so? Is he really that bad? Uh, hold on. What are we talking about right now? That salve had him knocked out cold by the time we left. He's not going to be up and around for a few weeks now, right? About that. Leave it to an old fart to think like an old fart. Welcome to Edith! Did you find the place alright? It was my first time taking the subway, but it was actually pretty easy. Damn if this city isn't hella big. Wow, you made good time. I was surprised you made up your mind so quickly. Once I did my morning with Fawn and said my goodbyes, that's all there was to do. Oh, by the way, the folks downstairs are letting me rent a room here. What? Why are you even here? Thanks to your investigation, I don't have a place to belong anymore. But really, this is a chance to take a hard look at myself. So I told anyone who'd care that I'd be skipping town for a while. And since I have nowhere else to be, you get the honor of hanging with me for a while. I'll crash here, work for you during the day, and see the sights of the capital at night. Oh, and count on me for whatever Almada and Genesis stuff you've got going on. I look forward to fighting alongside you again. We're pleased to have you. Ain't you all forgetting who's in charge here? 
Those scheming Hayway bastards. Pick up your damn phones already! Careful, you're gonna sprout some gray hairs at this rate. I think it's time to fold, pal. I'm sure it'll be fine. Aaron, remember to be a courteous guest, all right? Yeah, yeah. Just take care of Longport while I'm away, will ya? Gotta keep this up. <laughs> Can't complain with that. See? You get it. Aaron Way here. Treat me right, and maybe I'll give a senior citizen like you pointers on how to pick up chicks. <laughs>